What's up guys? Welcome back. My name is Alia if you are new here. So today I have a very exciting video to share with you and that is going to be all about the ISDIN Photo SPF. Specifically the Aerofotana Ageless Ultralight Emulsion Broad Spectrum SPF 50. That is a mouthful. <laughs> And this is designed for photo aging defense. It is 100% a mineral SPF and it is water resistant for up to 40 minutes. But what makes this so exciting is it is a tinted SPF. Now I normally opt for a chemical sunscreen. I hadn't actually used the mineral one in a long time, so I wasn't really sure how I was going to feel about it, but spoiler alert, I was pleasantly surprised. Now I'd actually never heard of ISDIN until probably about a month ago. I was watching Dr. Dre's channel here on YouTube. If you don't follow her, she is a board certified dermatologist and I pretty much look to her for most recommendations. Like I trust her. So I, anyways, I was watching her and she talked about this and she compared it to another one that they have that is similar but not tinted. And I was like, hmm, say less. Add to cart. You're coming home with me. I impatiently waited for this in the mail. And when I say impatiently, like literally checking the tracking every 2.5 seconds. And it is finally here and I've been using it now for about a week and a half, pretty much every single day. If I am leaving the house and I need some color, I self tan and so my body is very tan, but I do not tan my face, mainly because I use retinol and tretinoin and other products that are just constantly exfoliating my skin. So tanning my face just really isn't in the cards for me. So anyways, let's dive into the packaging. So you get 3.4 fluid ounces or 100 milliliters, which is perfect because that means you can take this traveling with you at least here in Europe, 100 milliliters is the limit for how big a container you can bring, so we love to see it. As I mentioned, this is a 100% mineral sunscreen, and the active ingredient is zinc oxide. Now, the cap is kind of interesting. It's like a little twist-off cap, and then you can see that the top just looks like that. I'm gonna do a little demonstration on the back of my hand, just so that you can really see the consistency here. So it is a pretty like liquidy light consistency. You can see it has a nice tint to it. It's not like an orangey tint. I'd say it's a very neutral tint, which I really appreciate. I mean, it does lean a tiny, tiny bit warm, but if I am self tanned, that's what I want anyway, because otherwise it's not gonna match my neck. I do have some that lean a little more cool or a little too peachy. And I just find that this one is just absolutely perfect. It blends into the skin beautifully. Initially, it looks like it has a little bit of a sheen, but as you can see on my face, I have a little bit of highlighter here, so ignore that. But everywhere else, like my forehead and stuff, it dries down pretty matte. And I really like that. If I want to look glowy, I can add products to make me look glowy, but I don't necessarily want a super like dewy SPF, unless that's really what I'm in the mood for, but for a good everyday one. I want it to dry down more matte to natural. So I find that this one definitely does that, which I am just thrilled about. I take this down my neck as well because you want to, you know, put SPF on your neck. I don't put it on the backs of my hands, I just use a regular one for that, but for the sake of this video, it is now on the back of my hand. Now normally I use Korean SPFs, so that's kind of just what I've been going for. I like how well they perform on my skin. I like how they are a PA level of plus, 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 plus. And I also like how affordable they are. So they're usually like under 20, some of them are under 10, and that's kind of just what I've been using lately. This is actually a Spanish brand, which is very interesting. And this retails for 70 US dollars, so it is a little steep. It's kind of up there with like some of the more high-end brands, and I know a lot of people don't really like spending a ton of money on an SPF, but there are plenty of discount codes out there. If I can find any, I will link them down below for you. So let's dive in a little bit more to the specifics of this particular sunscreen. So the little informational bio on the website says, protect, repair, and correct with Aerofotana Ageless and Ultralight Tinted Sunscreen with Zinc Oxide which helps fight signs of photo aging. Its innovative formula uses 100% mineral SPF 50 and an innovative blend of peptides and antioxidants and DNA repair sums, which is 
obviously trademarked or patented or whatever that R means. To repair existing sun damage and reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. It's water resistant and comedogenic, so this means it will not clog your pores, so don't worry girlies, it's not gonna cause a breakout. It targets fine lines and wrinkles, sun damage, and loss of elasticity in the skin. So of course, you're probably wondering what other key ingredients are there besides just zinc oxide. So let's just dive right into that now. So obviously it has zinc oxide at 10.7%. It also has their DNA repair stems, a photolase enzyme derived from plankton, and this is shown to help repair damage caused by the sun. It has peptide Q10, which helps keep skin cells healthy and fights early signs of photoaging. And I love Q10, I also take that as a vitamin supplement. It has a peptide complex which supports collagen and improves elasticity to reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. And vitamin E helps boost the skin's natural antioxidant defenses and protects skin against environmental damages. So on their website they have 187 reviews on this sunscreen and the rating is 4.6%. So that's a really good rating. I always like to check ratings before I buy something. I like to read through them just to see what people with my particular skin type are saying about it. And it has saved me a lot of money doing that, so I highly recommend always reading reviews, no matter what it is you buy. Sometimes they're not right, but I'd say like nine times out of 10, it's probably the truth. The only thing that I do want to mention is it does transfer. I did notice that when I was wearing white, it does kind of like, it can come off on white clothes. It's not like, I have this, I've had this on now for like an hour and it's not like it's like tacky or anything like that, but I did notice that if I was like putting something on over my head, if it touched, it would kind of transfer a little. But let's test right now with the tissue and see what happens. Okay, so the one on the back of my hand is still a little damp. Mm, yeah, so it definitely transfers. You know, it doesn't say that it's transfer proof, but just something to keep in mind, it definitely can transfer. I'm gonna try like on different areas now where I've had it on for a while. Yeah, see even then, you are getting a little bit of product coming off and this has been sitting for like an hour. So just something to keep in mind if you are wearing this, try to keep anything white away from those areas where you've applied it because it is going to get onto your clothes. Honestly, that happens with most of my foundations and any other tinted product I've tried. It's not like it's shocking news to me. Some people really have like an issue with that, especially if you're someone, if you're wearing like, you know, something high collared, that might bother you, which totally understand. You would wanna go for a clear SPF if you're gonna be doing that. That is the only downside so far that I have noticed about this. I haven't gotten any sunburns since I've been using this. I haven't gotten any breakouts. I've worn it, you know, like all day through the airport, traveling. I don't look greasy or oily at the end of the day. It doesn't separate or crease. So overall, I would say it's definitely worth the money. And this is a pretty like good size container. It's gonna last you a while. So yeah. Well, that is it for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this review. I will make sure to link this product down below as well as just their website in general so you can shop the other products on there if maybe tinted isn't your vibe, but you wanna pick up the non-tinted version. It's on there, so go pick it up, sis. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and thank you so much for watching.